truth itself that is conscious wisdom and that light when it was given that form ultimately the source was as you look back was the sun's light ultimately but it was given a new form of life a new character of light was added to that and that character was in its ultimate the spirit of hazrat muhammad mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam which was ready to merge with the original source of light that is god <coughs> so in this sense allah nurus samawati wal ard he is the original source of all the creative power all the creative power which leads ultimately to life that is the that is the meaning generally speaking but also there are other things but i can't discuss all the aspects here at this moment this yes, please when you are staying and you buy meat in gaya ki this christians they buy pork and i buy the cow meat or the you must live dwell on that subject only once one question small spain and pork these are the two things which you know <laughs> Obsess you. I always ask those people when I buy meat, who is greater, Christ or Paul? They say Christ. I said I am on the time of on the side of Christ because he never ate pork. Yes. And you eat on the Paul side. You better leave this and come and come to Islam, come to require Christ yes. and have this. Is it an argument? Yes. An ultimate purpose of this discussion is, I know that when you come to me, you will be truly beautiful. now you are superficially beautiful you see and ultimately you will meet the two beautifuls will meet you will marry there <laughs> is that not the purpose they are very good people pan i think i am the person i have no problem i said with the <laughs> yes exactly i understand the argument where it leads to ultimately it's a very intricate very intricate argument which perhaps those ladies didn't understand <laughs> you made it clear to them in so many words pan <laughs> which sounded like french to them perhaps <laughs> so no did you make it clear why you have want to win their hands to islam ियलीटली <laughs> <laughs> yes. Allah knows best. Is the best. Quite right. You know, last time that sir was more frank about it. You remember when when he went last time from Spain, he dwelled on the same dwelled on the same subject more openly and more frankly. But this time he is feeling a bit shy. All right. Any other questions, please? Yes. Apart from you, Mr. Rashid. Yes, Rashid Yad Sahib. Yes. अलकाफ़ Again in Surah Al-Baqarah, Rukhu Four, this is mentioned. We commanded Adam, alayhi salam, well, thou and thy wife in the garden, 
and eat plentifully therefrom wherever you will but approach not this one tree lest you be of the wrong doers but Saturn caused them both to slip from this stand of obedience by means of that tree and thus drove them out of the state in which they were. I request Hazur to most kindly guide me regarding two things mentioned in the above surahs of the Holy Quran. At one place it is mentioned Iblis and on another place, another, another place it is mentioned Saturn. According to the above surah of the Holy Quran, Iblis was one of the jinn. Therefore, Iblis, that jinn and Satan was the same person with different names. Am I right to think so? 2. Hazur explained the tree mentioned in the above surah. As far as the first question is concerned, I have already spoken on this many a time. The word Satan is a general term used very widely with regards to the sources of evil. And the word Satan applies to the human inclination to do wrong. has described it by telling us that everybody has a Satan running in his blood. Every human being. That means it's enough say Mara. In the other words, this is the uh, inner spirit which advises man to take the path of least resistance towards enjoyment. There is another better self, which is the source of evolution, which advises at the same time that if you do that, you will consume your energy and you will begin to de uh, decay. And uh, so the other self advises man to preserve one's energy and gain more energy and follow an uphill task to gain greater heights. There is a constant fight between these two forces within man. The first force, that is the advisor, which always advises in favor of easy money, easy pleasure, easy comfort and you know, gains and things, that force is called Satan. Ahazur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he described that every man has Satan, his own Satan, was asked, do you also have a Satan, Ya Rasulullah? The answer was, yes, I also have a Satan, but he has accepted Islam. That is to say, as human being, he had that urge within him, which was conquered completely and totally. So it submitted to his superior will. Now if the word Satan means a particular thing living outside, then that particular thing cannot be attached to everybody and yet accept Islam in one case and defy Islam in other cases. So this particular statement of Muhammad that his Satan has accepted Islam means that he is talking of the inner urge for evil. Now when that urge conquers a man so completely that very little of good is left in him, in him and the evil overpowers his characteristics, then he becomes a symbol of evil and he it is who is referred to as Iblis. Iblis for each age is different. And each prophet has to face an Iblis. The one who symbolizes evil and then becomes the chief of the evil forces to oppose the passage of truth is called Iblis in the term of the Holy Quran. He is a personified person, a thing, a personified evil I should say, but a living person. And that Iblis is created differently in different forms. 
Sometimes he is called Namrud, sometimes he is called Abujal, sometimes he is called...